Hi, it's me again, Joe Dante, for Trailers from Hell. In 1965, I was a student at the Philadelphia College of Art, where I spent most of my meager funds on going to the movies instead of art supplies, my bad. There were a couple of cool grindhouses on Market Street, but my favorite was the Palace, which ran all the best second-run studio releases and new ones from AIP, Allied Artists, and various independents. That's where I saw Nightmare in the Sun, which impressed me at the time and which I've never been able to see since. Its small-time distributor went belly up, and it's become really obscure since being last seen on the CBS Late Movie in 1979. Longtime movie tough guy and blacklisty Mark Lawrence, whose last movie role was in Looney Tunes Back in Action, directed two movies, this one and Daddy's Deadly Darling, available from Trauma under the title Pigs, which is sort of a precursor to Motel Hell. Here's the only beat-up trailer for Nightmare in the Sun we could find. Why doesn't anybody understand me? I won't allow you to lie to me. You're my wife, and you lied to me. This is the story of a woman. Strange, reckless, unruly. Although shot in 1963, this didn't see the light of a projector until two years later, partly because shadow financier Rick DuPont of the DuPont chemical family, who wanted the schedule to be dictated by astrology, defaulted, and litigation ensued. Star John Derrick, who claimed to hate acting and went on to be a director and an acclaimed photographer, was awarded a producer credit for talking his then-wife Ursula Andress into doing a nude scene, which was never shot. He plays a hitchhiker who's framed by Sheriff Aldo Ray for the murder of Andress, the horny wife of wealthy Arthur O'Connell. Various Mark Lawrence cronies like Sammy Davis, and Richard Jekyll, Robert Duvall, and Keenan Wynn cut their prices to help their pal out. To me, the memorable aspect of this movie was Stanley Cortez's deep-dish cinematography, not so apparent in this somewhat faded trailer, but really striking in the original Technicolor prints. Some sources claim that Derek co-directed this picture, but it's actually a lot more suspenseful and involving than his official filmography, which is full of beautiful to look at but dramatically inert vehicles for his various wives. If you can find it, check it out, and let me know if I'm right.